going to show you how to make a doll fireplace. You need foam core board, a quarter inch thick, and something for the mantle. I'm using this decorative shelf. You could use just a fat piece of scrap wood and paint it, or even cardboard. For my decorative shelf, I need to measure how wide I want the fireplace to be. In my case, it's 16 inches. And the height, I want it to be 9 and a half inches. That's about the right size for the American Girl dolls. For the depth of my fireplace, I'm measuring the side of my mantle. Mine is three inches. So I'm going to cut out a front and a back, nine and a half by 16, and two sides that are three inches wide by nine and a half inches tall. First, I measure all the pieces out with a pencil and I cut them out with a sharp blade. Being very careful with that blade. I'm going to make the opening for the fireplace. It's going to be 7 inches wide by 6 inches tall. I take the front piece and I drew out a 7 by 3, 6 inch hole in the front, in the middle. That will be my front. Now I can glue the sides to the back piece using hot glue. and then I'm going to glue the front, one side at a time. Okay, now I'm going to close up the inside hole. I take that piece that I just cut out and I push it and make it straight inside there. And then I mark where it stops with a pencil. Take that piece out and I cut off the extra and then I'm going to glue that right in there. Cut a little extra off. So try things in, see how they fit. You can always cut off more if it's too big. And then glue that in place. <clears throat> then I'm going to make the sides the same way. I put a piece in and I draw where to cut it, and I cut it out, and try it in. I always have to do a little trimming, and there it goes. <coughs> Keep trying in and trimming until you have the right fit. Once it fits, you can hot glue it in place. Okay, now I'm going to design the hearth. It's 16 inches wide. I'm going to draw a little rectangle to represent my fireplace. And I want the hearth to come out on the sides and the front. help me decide how big to make it, I'll write in the measurements of the fireplace, 3 inches by 16. This is the view if you were looking down on the fireplace. And I want it to be about one and a half inches out on the side. Each side. And I know the middle is 16, so you add those together. And that's 19 inches. So. The whole width of the hearth will be 19 inches. And I want it to come out a little more in the front. So I will make that 3 inches. So that makes the side 6 inches. I will cut out a piece 19 by 6 and glue it to the bottom. Now that it's all put together, you're going to cover it in tissue paper using Mod Podge. 
lay down a layer of Mod Podge and put strips of tissue paper and then cover again with Mod Podge. This covers up all the seams and gives you a nice finish to paint on. Make sure you cover every seam and let it dry. Once it's dry, you're going to paint it the color of the grout. I chose this dark gray. Cover the entire fireplace with the grout. Next, take some drink holders and egg cartons and tear them into pieces. Now we're going to shape them into stones. I just shape them as I go. So this is my first stone. And I try it out. How does it fit there? And it should, some of them should go around the edges. Once I have a shape I like, I put some hot glue on it and place it down. Now I'll tear out another shape. You don't want any really straight edges because rocks don't have very straight edges. And I figure out where I want it to go. And then I glue it down. Sometimes you have to tear off a little more to get it to fit spot that you need, especially after you get more stones glued on. So I have everything covered almost. I'm gluing them inside the fireplace right now. I think I would probably glue my stones a little closer together next time. They're a little far apart on this one. It would look more realistic if they were closer together. Sometimes it's hard to get them to fit. After all your stones are done, you're going to give them some texture, get some brown and green paint in several different shades, and you're going to dry brush the color all over the rocks. You need a stiff brush, and you just get a little bit of paint on it, and you rub off most of the paint. You don't want any big blobs of paint. And then you just pounce the brush all over the rocks. Just go over every rock with a little bit of paint in each color. I'm doing gold and then I'll do the greens and some lighter browns and some darker browns. This makes the rocks really pop and gives them dimension. After that I'm going to make the fireplace with some smoke in it. So inside where the fire would be I'm gonna dry brush black paint all over to look like there's been a fire in there. After that, I can cover every rock with a thick coat of Mod Podge. This will seal everything in, keep it all nice. Here it is all finished with a mantle and a little fire inside. Make sure you watch my next mini tutorial on how to make the fire for your fireplace. Have fun with your fireplace in your dollhouse.